Bienvenue à notre deuxième séance. J'espère que vous avez pratiqué votre français depuis la dernière fois. Et aujourd'hui, on continue avec les expressions utiles pour voyager en France. Learning time with Katie. We're going to start off today by expressing some likes and dislikes. To say I like is a j'aime. Now, to make a sentence negative, you surround the conjugated verb with ne and pas. I don't like, je n'aime pas. For example, I like the dog, j'aime le chien. I like meat, j'aime la viande. I don't like the cat, je n'aime pas le chat. I don't like vegetables, je n'aime pas les légumes. You can also use the expression with an infinitive verb. For example, manger means to eat. J'aime manger. Dormir means to sleep. J'aime dormir. Sauter means to jump. Je n'aime pas sauter. M-A is a regular verb that ends in E-R. All the verbs that end in E-R conjugate the same way. J'aime, tu aimes, Il aime, nous aimons, vous aimez, ils aiment. Notice that the plural form ends in e and t. You don't pronounce it, but you always know it's there. To give you another example of an er verb, I'm going to conjugate chante, ending in er, meaning to sing. Je chante, tu chantes, il chante. Nous chantons, vous chantez. Il chante. Okay, now last time we started with the verb avoir, and I said that it was one of the most important verbs in French. One of the reasons is because it's an important piece of putting verbs in the past tense. To put a verb in the past tense, all you need is the past participle of the verb and the conjugated form of avoir. So, let's quickly review all of our conjugations of avoir. J'ai, tu as, Il a, nous avons, vous avez, ils ont. Okay, so now we just need a verb that we want to put in the past tense. Let's take manger. That one's easy because the past participle of manger is manger. All right, so to say I ate, you'd say j'ai mangé. That would be the past participle of manger, which is manger, plus the subject and the conjugated avoir. Now we're going to put the verb to eat in the past tense with all the subjects. J'ai mangé. Tu as mangé. Il a mangé. Nous avons mangé. Vous avez mangé. Ils ont mangé. Okay, that's very good. Now these expressions are important because when you're at the table, the person who's feeding you will often ask you if you've eaten enough. Asse means enough. It's an adverb, and the adverb always goes after the conjugated verb. So in this case, avoir is a conjugated verb. To say, I've eaten enough, you say, j'ai assez mangé. They might ask you, tu as assez mangé? Oui, j'ai assez mangé. Tu n'as pas assez mangé? Si, j'ai assez mangé. Another question somebody may ask you is if you slept well. Bien means well. It works the same as assez, right after the conjugated avoir. Dormir means to sleep, and the past participle is dormi. To ask, have you slept well? Tu as bien dormi? Oui, j'ai bien dormi. Tu n'as pas bien dormi? Si, j'ai bien dormi. Or if you haven't slept well, non, j'ai mal dormi. Mal means badly in this case. That's all for today's lesson. Keep practicing the expressions that you've learned and à demain.